Hi, I am Jacob Gaming, and today we will be playing with the Touch of Malice, the most useless exotic in the game. Now, I know you guys may love the weapon. I, lo I actually love it for its design, the way, it, what it does, um, the way it looks, the lore behind it, but I can't get behind just using it. I It it pains me to use this now. It was my most favorite scour tool, I think outside of like Boolean Gemini and Mida Multi-Tool and Destiny 1 to return. And I, I, I grinded the raid so many times to get it to drop and it finally dropped and I put it in the vault because I realized hey this thing can only be used like i don't even don't even bring it in pvp <laughs> like don't do it at all but it can only be used in pve under certain circumstances where you can actually like use the last round and that's the only reason i got the gun because you can use the last round there is no more blessings of light they took that away you can use it in well even then that's a super so you can only use it when you have your super that's kind of crazy i did make a void build using the girl falcons on hunter to kind of make it work and as you can see in the gameplay you have to constantly have um <laughs> you have to constantly keep your devourer up which is not hard obviously touch of malice gets a lot of kills especially with that final bullet it does a lot of damage so it's not hard keeping it up but it's what you do when you can't kill like a major enemy super fast and i'm i paired it with the shire's wrath but you can pair it with anything i also paired it with the indebted kindness as well just to test that out yeah you can you need to pair it up with the gear falcons due to your falcons perk after being invisible your void weapons gain vault rounds that's that's a bonus but it's not really the main thing you're using this for finishers while invisible grant bonus damage for all weapons and a reserve over shield for allies this is a reserve shield for you as well use that reserve shield when you literally can't kill anything <laughs> use it as a like a, a great reserve shield also by going into the night stalker subclass echo of vigilance defeating a target a target while your shield are depleted grants you a temporary void void over shield so guess what you can this you see what i'm building into over shield to keep you alive with a sliver of health at least so you can get a kill so you can get that devour proc and get your health back um picking up a void breach or an orb of power grants devour obviously you want to constantly be getting making orbs that's why you run your kinetic uh you run your kinetic siphon or and or your void siphon or whatever siphon you want to just keep procking orbs i used double charged up an emergency reinforcement because emergency reinforcement also when your shields become broken you gain temporary damage reduction it helps keep you alive um charged up obviously you know to keep it even more so you can stay you know keep, keep getting them um or at least stack them up i mean i think that's the kind of basic of it but it's a fun build for like blind well and blind well is not you know it's not super easy but also it does take a little bit to kind of survive in there so this is a good build for that i like it i would never take this into a raid i would never take this into anywhere serious uh maybe if the stars aligned maybe a master loss sector but i don't see that ever happening uh gms never because touch of mouse is going to keep you low because you really won't be getting like those kills that often to keep up devour so i just i wish they would rework this to where the three kills by touch of malice gives you like restoration times two instead of just a small chunk of health or whatever it does just give us restoration times two and that'd be great you can build into that with solar to keep it constantly propped up um and yeah that's kind of my rant about the touch of malice why i think it's the worst exotic weapon in the, in the game currently and why you shouldn't really build into it unless i guess you love it for it at the end of the day at the end of the day it's all up to you you play with what you play with i can't force you i can't i hope i'm not swaying you any type of way i'm just giving you the reasons why i don't like it so yeah yeah, thanks for coming to the video uh if you're new make sure to leave a like subscribe share and comment your rebuttal i guess if you have one <laughs> uh thanks for watching again peace